There's a debate circulating around the health risks of using Zen. It's a small nicotine pouch. It's the fastest growing product of the tobacco industry, and it has become very popular among Gen Zers. Zen pouches are placed between the gum and the lip. They're marketed as an alternative to cigarettes and chewing tobacco. Some, though, are using it for one of its reported side effects, and that's weight loss, with some branding it as the poor person's Ozempic. While there is very little research on the long-term effects of nicotine pouches, a recent report from Harvard asserts that they are safer than smoking cigarettes, but still pose health risks, including increasing the risk of heart disease and creating a nicotine addiction in people who aren't currently using nicotine products. Here now, Dr. Timothy Quinn, a family physician and board certified obesity specialist to talk more about it. Thank you as always for being here. What's your message on a product like Zen? Well, a product such as Zen, which is not regulated by the FDA, does not have the research to back up the safety. I've had a great deal of patients that have come to me to ask about this product because I am an obesity weight loss specialist and they're looking for alternatives because a lot of people can't afford the Ozempic or the Wagovi because in a lot of cases, the insurance does not cover it. They're looking for alternatives. And as a physician, I'm sharing with my patients that the research, the safety is not established. The main uh, ingredient of these nicotine pouches, the Zen, is the nicotine. And nicotine is associated with decrease in leptin, which is a hormone in our bodies that help us get full quicker, meaning that we typically will eat less, which is behind a great deal of the success of individuals losing weight on this medication. But what I share is the nicotine can also cause increased blood pressure, increased heart rate. And for those patients that have underlying cardiovascular disease, it puts them at a higher risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. And it's not just young people who are interested in Zen for the cost. You're having patients of, of older age groups come to you and ask about this? Most definitely. So many patients come to our clinic in Mississippi that are seeking a healthier weight. These are individuals that are living with obesity. And a lot of the insurances are not covering the board, uh, the FDA approved weight loss medications to include the Wagovi and your Zepbound, which have been clinically research proven as far as benefits outweighing the risk in regards to safety. A lot of people are looking for alternatives such as the Zen. And as a family physician, I'm always gonna lead my patients in the safest direction and advise them to not try products that have not been researched. These products have not been properly researched. And there's a lot of correlation as far as uh, associations uh, in the in the in the uh, in the uh, reports showing that people that use these products they'll receive a, a surge of dopamine because of the nicotine and a lot of people will get a high um, or or a sensation of feeling good but it's, it's short lived and when it when it stops and then some of these people can develop anxiety and irritability and there's also a concern of addiction especially with our younger people using these products such as these zen nicotine pouches that are scarily uh, being marketed to the younger people because young people uh, they're using social media and a lot of these social media posts make these products seem like they're cool. They're the thing to do. Uh, I actually studied TikTok today and looked at a lot of the videos and, and they were quite convincing to, uh, in my, in my uh, opinion, to a younger person that wants to just do the thing that's cool right now. Yeah, don't be fooled by the price or by the promise of weight loss. Uh, the promise is a nicotine addiction and it comes with a lot of health risks. When it comes to the cost of the drugs that are approved and that you are prescribing to patients, Ozempic and some of the others, what's on the horizon for those drugs, Dr. Quinn? Will the price come down? The good news is I actually did a report on this network where we talked about the new research with the uh, GLP-1s to include your Wagovi, and it showed cardiovascular benefits. The FDA has since given the clinical indication 
for FDA um, for cardiac benefits with Wagovi. And because of this, some of our insurances are now covering the Wagovi for weight loss. If you can document that the person has had a stroke or heart attack in the past, because now what's being discovered is the medicine does not only help you lose weight, but it can help you live longer and it can actually save your life. And that's when insurance companies are more likely and they are starting to buy in more to cover these medications so we can get these medications to people that so much need it. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.